وَشَهَدُوا أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَحْدَهُ لَا شَرِيكَ لَهُ وَأَشْهَدُوا أَنَّ مُحَمَّدًا عَبْدُهُ وَرَسُولُهُ أَمَّا بَعْدُ فَأَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Today, the topic of my speech is our beloved Hazrat Khalifat al-Masih IV, Rahmullah a devoted husband, father, homeopathic, and a scholar. Hazrat Khalifat al-Masih IV, Rahmullah was born in December 1928 in Qadiyan into the blessed family of the Promised Messiah, alayhi salam. From an early age, the young boy who would one day become Khalifat al-Masih reflected qualities as being truly those of a man of God. He was passionate about acquiring knowledge, and as Hazur once said himself, he was inquisitive and wanted answers to life and the whole concept of God and religion. Under his able guidance and with divine help, the Jamaat made great strides in every sphere as it made unprecedented geographical progress, reached historical milestones, and made moral and spiritual advancements. Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih IV, Rahmullah Ali, enunciated the true status of women in Islam. He exhorted the Ahmadi woman to observe Parda strictly and to safeguard the Islamic values. In his sermon at the annual convention of 1982, he warned the Ahmadi woman against the pearls of Western culture and conveyed to them the significance and importance of Islamic Barda. In the era of the fourth Khalifa, the Jamaat has come to exercise considerable influence, winning the hearts of more and more faithful, among them eminent personalities and tribal kings. In 1987, two such kings from Nigeria made the covenant and joined Jamaat. Thus, the promised Messiah, alayhi salatu wasalam's revelation, kings will seek blessings from thy cl- clothes, found fulfillment once again. Hazur Rahmullah alayhi bestowed these two kings with sacred relics of the promised Messiah, alayhi salam, when they presented themselves during the annual convention in London in 1987. The monetary destruction of General Zia al Haq on August 17, 1988, only nine weeks after the announcement of Mubahala prayer duel, is a manifestation of another grand sign for the truth of Ahmadiyyat. In the end, I would say that in a world of ensuing darkness, in a world of consumed by distrust, enmity, and suspicion, Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih IV, Rahmullah Ali, was a gleaming light, the hope of millions and their joyous daybreak. He was the torchbearer of the prophets of the past. He was the guide and the guided. May Allah enable us to follow the footsteps of Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih IV, Rahmullah Ali. Amin. Jazakallah.